I was asked a question recently about the difference between Amazon S3 and Dropbox and how they should be used in a coach's business. So I thought I'd record this video, tell you how best to use it, how best to protect yourself for your business and how I use it. Let's get into it. Hey, my name is Jamie, founder of Technology for Coaches, and today's video is all about storage. It's all about Amazon and Dropbox, largely, and I'm going to talk about their competitors as well, and what's important for you to make sure that you're protected in your business. Now, from a perspective of the question that was asked to me was, Jamie, should I be using Amazon or Dropbox? I'm building a website and doing my email. I'm doing all these different things, Jamie, but what why should I use these, what, what's it about, was almost the question word for word. And I said, would it help if I explain how I use them? And the answer was yes, please. So Amazon S3, if you don't know what Amazon S3 is, Amazon S3 is a storage, an online cloud storage delivered by Amazon. Dropbox is a tool that you can get for free, um, two gigabytes for free of storage, that's available that you can install something on your computer and then when you put files in a certain folder on your computer it's stored on the cloud. So largely two storage solutions. Firstly the difference between the two Amazon doesn't come with a an easy it's on your desktop solution although they are recently rolling out a desktop version but that's nowhere close to the power of Dropbox today. So if you're looking for something that easily syncs with your desktop, really easy, and it's you don't have to do a lot of uploading and downloading, it's just a, it's just saved and it's dealt with, then Dropbox is by far the easiest way to go. To answer the question of how I use these in my business, Amazon is a really great place and really hugely cost effective if you want to back up a huge amount of your photos, um, if you want to back up a huge amount of video, or just any storage files that you want to store somewhere because with Amazon you only pay when traffic goes to Amazon or when it comes down from Amazon. You don't pay to let it sit there and do nothing. So it's a very good place to just put storage to, set and forget. And so for me, for Amazon, in a business perspective, all of my videos go to Amazon as a backup. From a personal perspective, all of my family photos from about eight or nine years worth that are digital are on Amazon as well as a backup. So that's how I use Amazon. Also on Amazon for me is my podcasts. So um, iTunes for podcasts needs storage that it can uh, buffer and stream from and Amazon is the best one to use out there today. So if you want to work out how to put Amazon into your business then the step-by-step -step trainings are in Fast Track for you to be able to do that. So I use Amazon for video storage for my podcasts and also for my family photos. That's how I use Amazon. Now over on this side on Dropbox, Dropbox I use pretty much for everything else. So day-to-day -day video work, I can put a video in there and it'll synchronize with my team because if I have a shared Dropbox folder, then a lot of other people that I've shared the link with can see that too. So I can just put it in my Dropbox folder and it will sync around, works beautifully. Same for Microsoft Word files, same for any type of file you want to share with people. Dropbox is a lot more powerful than Amazon. And also Dropbox versus one of the competitors out there today, Google Drive, Dropbox is more powerful and gives you more features to do that with too. Although I have Google Drive in my business, but I use Dropbox day in and day out for this. Another little tip for Dropbox is if you have email autoresponders that send out free PDFs or send out free somethings, then what you can actually do is have the file stored on Dropbox and then get a link, a URL link, and then put that in your email marketing. What does that mean? Well, it means if you want to change the file, if there's some pricing in it, or if there's some other things that would change over time, you can actually just change it on Dropbox, keep the file name the same, and when you save it, it'll update. And that means you don't have to update any of your email marketing, and it will that will just carry on, and you can just keep the files up to date on your machine. So Dropbox starts free for two gig, 
and you can then pay to go up to the next levels on your business levels. So that's, they're the main differences of the two. So the two other alternatives really today are Google Drive, which is improving every few months a new update comes out and soon Google Drive will be comparable to Dropbox, but today Dropbox is still a winner. And the other one that other people may talk about is iCloud, the Apple storage. And look, I'm an Apple fan. I have I everything at home and I underwear. Um, but the iCloud storage hasn't been hugely reliable in the past. And so my setup with Dropbox and Amazon has been working beautifully for me for a good, good number of years now. And so, as they say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. OK, so uh, that's how I've got Amazon and Google set up today. Amazon, Google, Dropbox. That's how I use all of those today. Hopefully that's added value your side. And if you want to get any of either Amazon or Dropbox into your business, just sign up at Fast Track, Jamie's FastTrack.com and you'll be able to follow step-by-step -step videos on how to do that yourself. This was Jamie, hopefully this was valuable. Any questions at all, feel free to put it in the box below. Otherwise, feel free to share or like this video to help other people. This was Jamie, technologyforcoaches.com. Bye for now.